I'll go ahead and start preparing everything for the ragu. It takes two hours to cook this, so, and this is the first time I've ever cooked it, so hopefully this will go smoothly. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and show you the ingredients for the ragu today. We have carrots and celery, two cloves of garlic. Uh, we'll chop up some of that shallot. Got uh, three tablespoons of olive oil, some red pepper flake, crushed tomatoes with uh, salt and pepper, and a pound of ground beef. And that's pretty much everything as far as the uh, ragu goes. Okay, we'll go ahead and chop our vegetables real quick. Just take a rough chop on these. We'll get this done really quickly. All the vegetables sauteing. And the garlic's going good and the, and the shallot. As a matter of fact, I probably need a little bit more shallot in there. Put this in there and let it get translucent. Give that a good stir. Turn the heat down just a little bit. Okay, the vegetables are kind of softening up a little bit, so we'll go ahead and take the ground beef and we'll put it in there and let it start the browning process. About 93% lean, 7% fat, so hope it won't be too bad. We'll go ahead and start stirring this around and we'll start browning the meat. Then, once we get the tomatoes and the wine in there, then we can uh, put a cover on it and come back and just stir it every once in a while. Make sure we're not sticking. See if we can see that on the camera, how good it looks. Just gotta eat that now. So we'll go ahead and get this browned up. Get it all separated.
And when we come back, I'll, I'll have this all browned up and we'll go to the next step. Okay, our ground beef is, is in little pieces now and there's not any pink left and the, and the vegetables are getting soft. Uh, one thing I did forget to say was there are two bay leaves in here. You have to add the bay leaves, give it a little bit of spice. But we're going to do that. We'll go ahead and put our uh, 28 ounce can of, of peeled and crushed tomatoes. Go ahead and put that in. Good. Give that a little stir. We'll turn the heat down just a little bit so it doesn't make me wear a red shirt. And when I get it all incorporated, I'll turn the heat back up just a little bit. That smells tomatoey now. And uh, we'll go ahead and pour pour the wine in it. And turn the heat back up. And. Get it good and incorporated. And that is a, uh, it's a Chardonnay. Lady the grocery store had to help me pick it out because I had no idea. First time I ever cooked wine. Don't drink it, so, but she said, if you're gonna cook with it, you better get a one that you would drink, so. There you go. Now let me turn the heat to about medium high and we'll go ahead and put a lid on it and about every five ten minutes I'll come give it a stir and uh, and then we'll talk about cooking the pasta and putting it on top of that okay we're back and you can, as you can see it's it's sitting there simmering I've turned it down to a really low you know medium low heat and we'll go ahead and give it a stir and my camera fogged up but it's thickening up it's really smelling good we'll put the lid back on it and come back in uh, 10 minutes or so and keep it going okay we're about an hour and 10 minutes into it I've been stirring it oh every 10 minutes or so uh, make sure nothing sticks or anything but you can tell by the color the color is just oh it's a deep red it's as, as red as my shirt is right now but um, I've been tasting it every once in a while it's got a good taste to it and uh, Oh, we got another 45 minutes or so. Just gonna let it sit here and simmer. Y'all stay with us. Okay, it's been about, well, it's almost two hours now. And uh, oh, it's good and thickened up. It smells really good. So we'll just put that on low for now. Just let it sit there and be good. And I've got some boiling salted water here in my pasta pot. It's got a lift out colander and everything in it. It's one of my favorite utensils. And I've got, uh, I got four servings of fresh fettuccine. And I'm going to put that in there and let it cook. And it'll take um, seven or eight minutes. Take seven or eight minutes to cook that more than likely. So we'll let that go. And I'll come back here in just a minute and we hopefully we'll plate this up. 
Okay, we have our pasta done. And I think I will plate up a little bit of it because I am getting hungry. So, then I'll be back in camera shot here in just a second. And I have some freshly grated Parmesan. I mean the real stuff. I actually grated this myself. And I believe I will go try that. It looks pretty good. Hope you enjoyed this video.